Welcome back to Side on the Shed. We're going to be working on some uh, cast iron pans here. All I have is an old lodge. And I have a Weber. What we're going to do is we're going to spray them down with some yellow top easy off oven cleaner. Now the active ingredient in here that I'm looking for, and one of the reasons why you want to use yellow top easy off, is the sodium hydroxide that's in there, caustic soda, which is actually a base. And that that eats through a lot of this gunk that's on here. All right, let's spray those down. Gonna flip them over and put them in this white bag. And I'll bring you back for a second because I need two hands for that. And can get the uh, sorry if I can get the camera right and get the sun right yeah you cover it it's dripping see it dripping into the other pan now you soak them down good and we'll get them put them in this white bag close them up and leave them for a couple days alrighty well I got everything tied up in the bag the reason why you put it in the bag and tie it up is so that the easy off oven cleaner does not evaporate and right now since it's a nice day I want to keep as much heat on these as I can so I'm gonna leave it out in the Sun so I like to use a black uh, plastic trash bag for them it uh, absorbs the heat a little bit better but uh, the weather's still good so I'm just gonna leave these outside right here in the Sun for a couple days and uh, Unless the weather changes, then I'll put them in the house. But I'll bring you back after uh, the first round is done. Some of these, they might take two or three rounds of the easy off to get them done. We'll see. Anyway, this is just a little, uh, the lesser expensive way to do just a couple pans at a time. Or a couple things at a time instead of getting a uh, um, an electrolysis set up or even doing a uh, lye bath uh, basically this easy off yellow top original has the chemicals in it that we need and that is the sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is water soluble but it's also very greasy sometimes it's kind of hard to wash off if you get some on your skin vinegar will take it right off either white vinegar or apple cider vinegar uh, best thing to do is uh, wear gloves so um, I actually deliver chemicals and uh, I deliver concentrated uh, caustic soda stuff that'll uh, actually eat through your boots so uh, my skin's a little bit tougher I've kind of toughened up on the bottom of my hands and everything it doesn't bother me too much but it will burn you anyway we'll see you in a little bit you all take care Hey guys, um, I'm sorry. We're back with the uh, with the cast iron pans, cleaning them up. Okay, this is uh, after it's been soaking in the um, Easy Off Yellow Top Easy Off oven cleaner for a little bit. And I am sorry. Um, this is the third time I cleaned it and soaked it. But I'm sorry when I. When I hit uh, record <laughs> last time, it didn't record, so you kind of missed out on the other pan being washed, but it's pretty simple, and of course, I am using gloves. And hopefully you all can see this, but all this stuff right here, that scrubs off pretty easy. Just using an old green scrubby, the wife won't let me use her new ones. And with the easy off, it gets this stuff off real easy. Hence, easy off. But anyway, I'm going to scrub this a little bit more. The inside, 
So we'll get that all scrubbed off. And uh, then I'll bring you back. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sidewinder Shed. Alright, now I stripped this pan best I could with the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. And I have already put some of this on the pan. This is what I'm going to use to season it with. And I'm going to finish coating it. Put some on. Gonna wipe it around, make sure I cover everything, coat the whole thing. All right, inside and out, and I'm gonna do the handle, get a good coating on that, and then here's the important part here's where a lot of people mess up when they try to season their pan okay that's a little shiny still I don't want it that shiny so I'm gonna wipe this thing off like I didn't mean to even oil it or put any of this on this pan now this is the first initial seasoning so we're gonna wipe that all off now on this, I have this oven set to about 450 degrees. And what we are going to do now is I'm going to put it inside the oven. Upside down. And the reason why I do this is because if there is still a little bit too much on there, it won't bake into a solid mass on the bottom of the pan now here is that other pan it's already been seasoned once but we're going to do the same thing I'm going to put some coating on this okay and yeah put that around this pan is warm, but it's not hot. Okay, I just wanted to clean off this stick here a little bit. And this rag is already soaked with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we wipe. Wipe it down good. Get every surface coated with it and see how nice and glossy and wet everything looks well we're gonna do that here as well yeah. add a little bit more on the bottom here and we'll wipe that around get everything covered make sure I get good coating on it And again, like the other one, I'm going to get the dry spot on my towel here. And we're going to wipe this whole thing down again. I'm going to try and wipe everything off like I didn't mean to oil it at all. And especially the inside. I do not want this shiny and wet looking. Now since I already have one coat of seasoning on it, it is going to be shinier. I won't be able to wipe it all off. But I'm looking, I'm looking more for a satin, a dry satin finish. And trust me, this plenty... There is plenty of grease on this pan to season it. And I'm going to do the same thing. It's going in to the oven upside down. 
hoping it's going to stay there for an hour. We'll pull it out and see how it looks. I usually do it three times. Three times it should end up looking like this. Okay? And as you use this, as you use it more and more, it will darken up and it will turn black. Oh. It'll get that nice black look to it. That was a pan, that last one I showed you, that's a pan that I was silver and I do believe I have some videos of that if you're interested and uh, after about five years of use you know that's what that one looks like now um, and yeah that's not the only pan that I use so each of these each of these pans <laughs> and there's one under here too they all get used uh, they're they're not wall hangers they all get used so that's why I say you know that one's five years getting to that condition that's because it's not used every single day three times a day uh, none of these pans are used every single day three times a day for three meals um, each of us here that cook, believe it or not, has a favorite pan. So depending on who's cooking, uh, and depending on what we cook, you know, depends on what, uh, what pan gets used. But, uh, and again, I do have... Believe it or not, I do have different sizes. They're not all the same size. But I do have two, three, four 10-inch skillets. And then this here is a chicken fryer. That's a little bit uh, deeper. It's an old BSR. And then I have the big, uh, that's a Wagner, the big square Wagner. And this one here belongs to a friend of mine that I... I just redid this pan for it's just a it's a nice cooker made in Taiwan that one there the grandkids my kids and the grandkids love that little pan for uh, grilled cheese sandwiches and little you know little things like that and uh, this one here too and this this one is ancient that's well ancient that's about a hundred years old it's 1920s and uh, that's perfect for uh, a fried egg for a single person got my nieces and nephews and my kids and now my grandkids uh, they like using that one and then I have the flat griddle right there and then an old Wagner I got from my folks another old lodge got from my folks um, you know like I said it's not that I just have one that we use two, three times a day every day. They all get used, and they all get used for different things. Anyway, I'll bring you back after this round of seasoning is done, and we'll have a look, see, and see how things turned out. Hey, y'all. Just wanted to show you what these uh, cast iron pans look like. After three rounds of seasoning, after I cleaned them all up, stripped them down with the uh, yellow top, yellow cap, easy off, oven cleaner, right there, cleaned them up, and now after three rounds of seasoning, this is what they look like. They turned out pretty good considering this old pan was pretty nasty. And, uh, you know, they will darken up and get even better the more they get used. Uh, this pan here happens to be mine. 
This one here belongs to a friend of mine. I've got uh, another one I'm going to do. But um, hopefully they'll be happy with it. It's uh, got a nice slick surface on it right now. Both of them do. So I think they will be good. Anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, let's see. The back side of this. Mm. You know, she cleaned up real nice. It looks really good. And uh, I'm going to do my other one that's like this, uh, but I'm not going to. There's no need to uh, make a video of it. But uh, when I start using mine and start cooking in it, then I'll start making some videos. But anyway, thank you all. I appreciate you for uh, sticking with me. And I want to thank all my subscribers. And seeing as how it's getting to be winter time, there'll be more little projects like this instead of the big ones outside. And I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be doing stuff I can do inside in the in the warmth. But anyway, y'all have a good one. Thank you for sticking with me. Y'all be safe, and hopefully this uh, this help inspired you uh, to clean up some of that cast iron you got. Y'all take care.